What's up guys, Chris here. It is June the 11th, 2020, and today I have a brand new Sonos Move from the Sonos speaker system. Now Sonos is often known for its usability, easy install, and fantastic dynamic sound. And Sonos has created, which has been out for about a year now, the Sonos Move. The Sonos Move is often referred to and is known as the only portable battery powered Sonos speaker. Now, I've had this Sonos speaker for about two months now, and I can tell you from experience, this is by far one of the best portable speakers you can own. The first reason for this is how easy it is to connect the Sonos speaker to your home or to a device or to your existing system. And from there, the app is user friendly and the sound is absolutely amazing. Now, as I look into this review, I simply want to focus on how easy it is to connect the speaker to your existing network and how easy it is to control and mimic or control and display, uh, just have complete control of the speaker itself simply by using your phone. Now, a lot of, it, a lot of these reviews will go into the sound aspect of the speakers. However, I must say it is very hard to justify what this speaker can do simply by playing it to a microphone. Now I can assure you it sounds excellent and we'll let you listen to what it sounds like. However, I strongly suggest you hear what this speaker has to offer in person at a local store that sells the Sonos systems. So before we get into the speaker and how to connect it to your device, let's look and see what Sonos has to say about the Sonos Move. Now the Sonos Move retails at $399. It is one of, it is equally priced with the remainder of the speakers that Sonos has to offer. Part of the reason why it's so expensive is its adaptability and portability that you can do with the speaker itself. Now, as we move, Sonos describes the speaker as a durable, battery-powered smart speaker for outdoor and indoor listening. So this means this speaker is weather resistant. Uh, I believe it is IP64 uh, in terms of its rating. Uh, to be uh, from a weather aspect. Um, it delivers great, brilliant sound anywhere with a waterproof and drop resistant move. You can control with your voice, meaning this speaker has Alexa built into it, as well as the app, Apple AirPlay, at home, stream, and stream via Bluetooth when Wi-Fi isn't available. So, what that's saying is, this speaker has the ability to both be utilized over your Wi-Fi network as well as through Bluetooth, where Wi-Fi can't be reached. That's something that no other portable speaker really has to offer. And if you find them, the connectivity, connectivity and stability is very susceptible uh, within that speaker. As we move on, So Sonos, of course, it uses Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, which are built into it. You can simply tell it to set alarms. You can tell it to check your news, play your favorite music, and so on, um, which is a very convenient feature within the speaker. And it's very easy to use. As I stated, you can do this over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth when it comes to connecting. So you're out on a camping trip, you can utilize this speaker as a Bluetooth speaker and it will work flawlessly with your device that you're using. So, the speaker is weather resistant. 
which has an IP rating of 56. So excuse what I said earlier, it has an IP rating of 56. What that is able to do is it means it can withstand humidity, rain, snow, dust, salt, spray, UV rays, and extreme heat and cold. One of the biggest things with this speaker is its battery life. So the battery life on this speaker is rated for 10 hours, which is unheard of for a portable speaker, okay? And I, most speakers that say that they are, are rated for 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever it may be, do not get that full potential. I will tell you, I have tested the speaker to its max and I came close to, if not right there at the 10 hour mark, which is very impressive in my opinion. The Sonos speaker comes with its own charging deck. So inside the box, uh, you'll have the speaker itself, a charging base, which charges it with its uh, two connector pins. Um, and, and again, the speaker, the, the charging uh, abilities of this thing, um, I, I believe it, it needs up to two hours to get at least a um, 70 to 80% charge on, um, you know, with the speaker. So not bad in terms of uh, charging. Uh, with your Sonos system, you get a variety of uh, outlets to play uh, your media through. Um, it can be your TV, Pandora, uh, Apple Music, YouTube, uh, music um, and Sonos have recently introduced Sonos Radio, which is uh, which is pretty neat uh, if you have not uh, experienced it. As we look at the spec, finally, as we look at the specs of the speaker, um, the dimensions. So this speaker does sit about uh, 9.44 inches high. It's about six and a half inches wide. Um, and its depth is about four to five inches, okay? Um, and, and finally, what I want to talk about with this speaker in terms of its dimensions are its weight. This is a pretty hefty little speaker. Um, it, it weighs at about 6.61 pounds, which, I mean, from a portable standpoint, that is a pretty hefty little uh, speaker uh, in order to tote around. So coming back and looking at the speaker, we see roughly how big the speaker is itself. Um, you see it compared to the size of my head, so it is a pretty hefty speaker. Your buttons on the top um, utilize, that's your smart button, so where you want to do voice commands. Um, you have your pause play button, and the buttons on each side deal with your volume. The green, the green flashing light illustrates that this speaker is ready to pair, which we're about to do in a second. If we look on the back, so Sonus has incorporated a handle, which up here, if I want to hold it, you know, this is how you want to carry the speaker around. And again, this also can be used with a mounting bracket system that Sonos has and sells on their website. Uh, along with that, uh, Sonos does put your, your buttons, power button. This is your sync button. And then the button that's in the middle deals with uh, changing it from Wi-Fi to Bluetooth. So as you see, this is a very good design, minimal design. It's hefty, it's solid, the quality is, is brilliant. And, and, and I'm telling you, this is a very sturdy speaker when you have this in your hand. Now as we look, and we looked, now let's look at connecting to the speaker and show you how easy it is to connect the speaker to your device. Speaker to your device, it is important to ensure that your speaker is on its docking station, okay? This ensures that it's getting power and can go through the process relatively easily. So when you, you're ready to set up, you want to go to the Sonos app. If you haven't downloaded it, it's available on the Google Play Store as well as your um, the iOS uh, Apple Store. So you simply just search for Sonos and it will be the first one that pops up. So as we go into the Sonos app, we want to navigate to settings, which is in the bottom right corner. So when we go into settings, we want to go to system. 
From here, we want to hit Add Product. So as we add the product, it tells you connect your product to your power, which we've already done, it's sitting in the station. You hit Continue, and it's going to search for the product. So depending on um, how well the connection is, how close you are to it, um, it will depend on how long this process takes. But once it finds the product, it goes by relatively quickly and easy. So once it does, it tells you that it found one new product. It tells you what the product is. And all you do is you hit set up this product. It again is telling you make sure you're, on, you're connected to the station. You hit continue. And on the back, you're going to hit the sync button. Okay? As you hit the sync button, your Sonos should make a sound. So if we do it correctly, you should hear a sound from the back of it. Now, that may have been faint, but it was a just a little soft sound to let you know your, your Sonos is connecting to you, is ready to connect, and is ready to send the signal. So, as you see, <clears throat> everything got connected. Now you want to set it up to your Wi-Fi um, wi uh, uh, account. Password screen, or right, we're just going to choose what the best network to utilize. Uh, to connect the uh, Sonos speaker, okay, we're going to block the screen real quick so I can put in the password, and from there, we should be able to start and connect to our Sonos device. So as we're connecting to our Sonos device, and again, it's just verifying that I've entered all the information into uh, to the app uh, to get, connect to the Wi-Fi. So this may take a second. Now be aware, as this is doing, sometimes if the uh, uh, as it's connecting, it may be installing the latest firmware. It may be, um, you know, doing other things as it's connected. So this is just telling you, you can use Wi-Fi when listening at home. You can switch to Bluetooth whenever you want to if Wi-Fi isn't available. That's, that's simply by hitting the button on the back of the speaker. Okay, so this Sonos Move has been added. Again, it asks you if you want to add another product. We do not. And it's going through this registration process. So as you see, this device is very simple and very quick to set up. Um, again, you can activate TruePlay. TruePlay is simply um, the speaker has the ability to adapt to the environment that it's in in order to deliver the best sound. So we're just going to hit Enable. This can be changed uh, whenever you need. Uh, this is saying set up voice assistance to control Sonos. Um, so we're not going to do that right now, but you can go through and set up all your voice assistants, whether you use Amazon or Google. And your setup's complete. Now, as we see, the move is labeled as move. We can go through and change the name of it. So if you're placing it in your kitchen, uh, you can do move slash kitchen and it lets you know. Um, it's just up to you. Um, the cool thing is, as you see, I have two, another Moog speaker. Um, on the Wi-Fi system, you can utilize each move and create a stereo pair to make a seamless uh, stereo uh, with your Sonos. So it's all, it's pretty cool how it can be set up. So. After we connect, now we're ready to use the Sonos speaker. And again, we're going to show you what this speaker can do in terms of its sound, quality, and everything. And I can assure you that it sounds awesome. However, it is very hard to justify just how good this thing can sound. Okay, and I strongly encourage you again to go somewhere that sells these types of speakers and, you know, and see for yourself how well it sounds okay um, so 
I have music loaded up on my phone. And let's hear it. So this is about halfway. That's about three quarters. sounds amazing in terms of the quality and again you can use the handle and take it with you anywhere so I can take this and sit it on my desk I can take it and sit it on the counter in the kitchen or wherever outside and I can have this music on the go and again with a 10 hour battery life you cannot beat it now I do understand this is a relative relatively expensive speaker I do understand that However, what you're getting with this quality is amazing. And from an ease of use from the app standpoint to connecting, this is a speaker that anybody can truly use. Now again, guys, this is probably one of my favorite brands out there in terms of audio. I love audio and I've used a lot of audio. And I can strongly say that Sonos it's probably one of the best brands, in my opinion, when it comes to audio. And I know audio is subjective at times because certain people listen for certain things. But in my opinion, the overall dynamic range that Sonos has to offer is unbelievable. I, of course, have several Sonos speakers. I think, to be exact, uh, we have about 9 to 10 speakers that are from the Sonos brand. And the cool thing is, with the app, you can add up to 32 speakers on your system. So, again, this is a company that allows you to customize however you want the sound quality and what you desire. Now again, guys, I want to thank you for being with me with this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gained some knowledge on what Sonos has to offer. And I hope you go out and get one. I have no affiliates with this company. I have not been paid with this company. I just wanted to review this for my sake to, to show you um, quality uh, audio equipment. Now again, guys, we're gonna show other sources of technology. We're gonna show um, from computers and this, that, and the other. And I hope what I have to offer allows you to get a better understanding of what might you decide to buy in your near future. Again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and feel free to subscribe to my channel to get more videos of content such as this. I want to thank you guys for, showing, for uh, joining me. And again, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.